Usually when people think of Dopa, they think of Twisted Fate, but one of his most underrated champions is Victor. You can see here in his screenshot from Season 6, Rank 1, he mainly played Victor, double his amount of games on Twisted Fate, and even a better win rate on this Victor. And today we're back, he's been spamming it on the shiny super server. He loves this Victor, he's back, he thinks it's the strongest pick in the meta. And I'll break down to you guys how you can utilize it in your own elos and climb some divisions. Jumping onto the Rift, taking a look at the room page, guys. It's a phase rush setup. This should surprise nobody. All the control mages at the moment thinking of things like Orianna and the Syndra going for that phase rush to hope, help with the lack of mobility that some of these kits have. And you can see the Lucian looking for a very aggressive level one. Dopa tries to dodge the Lucian Q with his phase rush, but unable to do so. Lucian blows cleanse and they should be able to pick up first blood with the Malphite flash, but Dopa has to blow both sums. Now, what do you do level one when you take a trade like this? Let's see. See, if you base right now, you're going to miss out on so many creeps. But if you stay, the Lucian comes back to lane full health. He's slightly behind on levels, but once he catches up, he'll hard trade and you'll be kind of doomed. So it looks to see... Looks like Dope is going to hard shove it and then look for a reset. Because if he gets this next wave in and crashes it, Lucian will be under tower. He should be able to base. Let's see. Hard shove, hard shove, hard shove. I wonder why Dope went E star. Usually you would Q start in a scenario like that. Maybe he E started just before the vision. But Dopa will grab a base now. He has two options. You can grab your boots or you can wait 10 gold for Dark Seal. Dark Seal is probably going to be a little bit better for the landing phase. It's going to be helping you out a lot more than the boots. The boots will get you back to lane faster. But other than that, not really offering too much when it comes to the damage component. But yeah, Victor, at the moment, guys, it seems to be one of the strongest control mages. Victor, Zoe, Orianna, and Syndra, the top four control mages, along with Anivia. Um, Seraphine also is good, I guess. But it's going to be interesting when pro play starts up in about two weeks or so, how the meta starts to evolve. But Victor will definitely be up there. Even after the Imperial Mandate was nerfed, um, they're just going back to a traditional Victor build. And the champion seeming... Very strong. Two points into E. He doesn't get W level 3, guys. He goes for more aggressive um, leveling route. And he gets some damage as the Pantheon comes through. Pantheon actually popping up in the meta a lot at the moment. In Korea, jungle Pantheon is decent. Um, Pantheon at the moment is hella good. Especially lane or support Pantheon. Synergize with the Talia jungle. Talia is probably... Talia is S tier in the jungle at the moment. Oh, no, no. Talia is S tier in the jungle at the moment. So this Pantheon pick, nobody can let through the Talia and Pantheon in the same draft. Otherwise, it's like an insta loss. Um, and you can see Dopa looking for a negative base here. He grabs it. Then he... That's super smart of him. Did you see it? Look how the wave is situated, guys. He knew that that cannon wave would get there first to freeze it. So even if the Lucian comes back into lane, he's not going to have enough time to hard shove it. And Dopa won't even lose any of the creeps under tower because he'll get back to lane as it's crashing. As he's a little bit tilted here, as the bot lane didn't really move to this Nunu gank. That was super obvious. And Dopa will come back to mid lane, collect all of the farm. Oh, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> you missed the cannon. Oh no, it's tragic. Sometimes you just have those type of days with the CS. Even Dopa does. Yes, he does. As he's level 4, and he levels his W here. Help him try and set up ganks. And Dopa is running attack speed, not double adaptive. Most mid laners at the top level at the moment are running attack speed in their runes, guys. They're not going double adaptive. It helps you get hard shoves. It helps you CS. It helps you to get nifty little trades in and out. As they're coming in. Interesting that he didn't put a W down. He... Guessed, I mean, he just knew that the Pantheon would live. See, I would have put my W down there and wasted 65 mana for no reason, just to be safe. Dopa, he keeps the mana, and it's probably going to help him out a lot. As the wave coming through now, he'll pull this for a freeze. He drops his W to help enable that freeze. I don't think... See, that seemed like... If you were very low health, that would have been good, because it stopped the minions from attacking... And it set up that freeze. The problem is now that you're low mana, so that Lucian can probably get the hard shove. And this is what it's all about in high elo. It's all about 
Like a lot of the time in high elo, guys, one good base timing will win you the lane. It's as simple as that. It's all about getting good base timings. Trades and kills are very rare. They happen. But especially in the competitive level, like people like Chovy always have the best bases. And that's how they get these huge CS leads. And it's through things like this, pulling waves and pulling these freezes and doing like fake bases and stuff like that. That's where it's it's, it's a really big mind game. Um, and it'll get you small advantages. And of course, at the top level, small advantages will eventually create huge advantages um, and get you that win that you're looking for. Dopa hard shoves the wave in. Lucian needs to respond, but Dopa no mana moving into river now. Dopa a little bit tilted. He gets nothing from that. And the Lucian now needs to hard shove it and look for a reset himself. Pops ultimate. Lucian ultimate was nerfed a while back. It doesn't give as much damage on minions, but it's enough to get this wave in. Can Dopa pull this wave? So I was telling you about, guys, it is the mind game of back timings. Dopa knows the Lucian was looking for the base. He moves up. He pulls the wave into a perfect freeze now. And the Lucian has to stay for another wave. And this just goes on and on and on. And it comes down to the Nunu helping the Lucian to hard shove it out. And this is what you got to do. If you get froze on, try and ping your jungler to come and help. Lucian would have spam ping for this. And now Lucian gets the perfect base. And Dopa's going to be a little bit behind on tempo. But he'll level up his E so that he has his double E now, which is going to help out a lot. You'll see when he uses it in a second here. Okay, not using it. Perfect. He needs to hard shove fast though, because if he doesn't... Yeah, there you go. If he doesn't and the Lucian... You know what? He was saving... He could have E'd level 6. But he needed level 7 so that the E one-shot the backline creeps. Because that's what happens at level 7 when you get the 4 points into your E. So he actually waited for that because he knew it would be a faster shove. This guy, man, he thinks about everything. Takes me a couple of seconds to kind of work out what the f*** is going on. But he gets his sorcerer's shoes here and he'll run back into the lane. Me Kais are getting pretty jacked. Control wood bot side. Move back into the lane. With this blue buff, he'll slowly be able to start poking the Lucian out. You can't hard trade with the Lucian. He'll win an extended trade. What you want to do is use your E range because you outrange him. Use your E like two to three times on him and then you can start looking for an all in. But before that, just look for that poke. And in this case, Dopa is just looking to hard shove the waves. Nothing too aggressive. It looks like he's a little bit scared of getting ganked here, which is... Definitely a possibility from the Ali star. Malphite hovering with ultimate. This is a good bait. Let's see how he plays it. He can flash. Always be looking to flash the Alistair combo, guys. He always puts he puts himself in a bit of an awkward scenario. Dopa really needs this blue buff. Don't make him beg for it. Pink ward here. He can't do that because the Alistair can wrap around through river. This is too risky. Oh. Dopa pops his ultimate. It cancels the Lucian ult and Dopa's going for the 1v1. He can't quite get it. But that should be enough to hard shove and get Lucian on a really bad back timing. Pantheon coming behind. Good hover. We should get one plate. You'd really you really want to stay here for your lost chapter. Does he have enough? I mean, I guess you could take the pink and then reset. You, I think pink, shove one more wave, then reset. Because it's going to take the Lucian a little bit of time to get back into lane, and then he's going to have to clear the cannon wave, which takes an extra five seconds or so. River fight for the Harold, moving in now. Pantheon going in. Should be a kill and assist. Now, Victor's new passive guy, like the, the old hex core, and assists give you 25 stacks of that. You see that 73 above his um, tooltip down the bottom? At 100, you get your option to upgrade um, an ability. So he's already upgraded his E. His next will be Q followed by W. 
But getting assists is massive for Victor. So if you can snag yourself early assists, it's literally just a game changer. As he wants to pick up the blue buff. He's, for, he's He's got a lot of gold, so he's kind of forced on a bad back timing here. I don't know when he's going to be able to get it back, but with a blue buff and domination tree, you don't really need to. You've got plenty of sustain. I want to do a video, guys, on a champion I think that's rising up, and that's Diana. Diana hasn't been getting much love lately, but I think... With this control mage meta of things like Victor, Orianna, and Syndra coming back into the meta, Diana has been performing very well into these picks, and I wonder if any pros are going to start to look to pick her up. Because um, I think she's definitely an underrated champion into these immobile mids and really use it for a nice five-pick counter in the competitive meta. It is Echo, but... I think Diana just offers a little bit more oomph when it comes to team fighting. Uh oh, Dopa. Phase rushing out. Gonna keep running. Good zone there by the Lucian. Dopa has to disengage. Malphite? Ultimate? Ultimate? Unlucky. <laughs> they had to have waited for the Lucian dash to come out first. It wasn't really possible. It should have held it. Because now they could use it to kill the Cassio, but... Dopa tries to proc his phase rush. And move through for the Cassio. She trades one for one. Dopa doesn't get anything. It's quite a tilting experience for Dopa. He needs to rush a Russia base here. 2.1... I guess he's going to try and, yeah, okay, get the vision first and then reset. Just to try and keep the Twitch alive. Lost chapter. Blasting. Amp Tome? What are we going to buy? Go for the Amp Tome. Going for the, the damage. Um, At the moment, it seems that Ludens is the go-to for Victor. But into tankier comps, let's say they have an Orn and a Nunu. Um, a lot of the time, the Leandries does a lot of work. And shouldn't be overlooked. Lopez zones out the one path where he could... So, even little things like that, think about it. He W'd the path of escape. Now, Lucian could escape the other way, but he knew Pantheon was there ready to pounce. So, he forces Lucian to run into the Pantheon. Nice little pickup by Dopa there. Working his way towards a really solid Victor game. This is just how he plays Victor, okay? He plays a very nice, controlled, low-risk play style, but he always ramps up into the mid-late game, and then he starts to really put that damage out. Gonna pick up a plate for himself, and keep on hard-shoving these waves. I think this champion, like, Dopa, Victor, and Oriana, I love watching. It's really nice. Not as Twisted Fate, but... It's still up there in some of my top tier odd reviews, I reckon. As he's going to try and stop the Cassio. Use your, your E gives vision, so make sure you use this E to provide the vision, then move in. Yep. Gonna pop his ult. Hey, hey, you, you could have moved your ult for that, but like, who gives, I mean, who cares? And let's see what he does. So, Twitch, this is perfect. He wants Swain to move mid. I talk about this every video, I swear to God. He's already rotated bot, and look how their bot lane was pathing bot. He says, Go mid, you idiots. I've got bot covered. We can just lane swap. It's no problem. It gives us overall way more gold and XP if we don't... <gasps> if we don't all just sit there and share it as they pick up a kill onto Lucian and Ludens is available. I like Aether Wisp. Hmm. Working our way towards a Banshees, right? Is that to avoid the Nunu Cassio? Definitely not Mercs, we got Sorks. And we're going to head into the side lane now. This is perfect. Side lane farm for a Victor. Oh, wait, maybe you could. Doesn't want to risk it. Best case scenario, he gets the kill. Worst case, probably have to blow sums and maybe dies. His team already has the lead. He's just going to sit and get some nice control over the river. I know it sucks, but in your mind, if you are confident your team can carry, 
And if the game keeps going the way it's going, you don't need to take these, like, you don't need to go for these plays. Sit back, farm, and do your job. Like, sure, going for that kill or that 1v2 there is fun, but do you need it to win? Their answer is no. <sighs> I don't get it. Um, yeah, sometimes just taking the lowest risk possible plays is fine, guys. You don't need to stress. He wants to look for the... He could flash. Does not opt for it, of course. Team's moving in. Lucian's top side. Someone's going to have to go up and grab that. I wonder if Dopa backs and goes top. No, oh, he'll want that blue buff. He's going to move in here. Ops his ult down. Pretty crappy ult, but it doesn't really matter. They grab that double kill for themselves. He'll pick up the blue buff. And keep farming up a storm. The AP Twitch. Has a two level advantage over the Lucian. He didn't even need to go Seekers this game. He just played very controlled. And now that he's high level, maxed out his Q and his E, he's fine. The Lucian burst is nothing to worry him. It's going to be a double lift scenario all over again if the Lucian comes too close. Victor counters Cassio as well, so his side landing is fine. He can match whoever wants to come. The problem is the Nunu um, and the Alistar, if they get a flank, it's hard for Dopa to get out of the way. And just like that, this Cassio, and he, he is looking for them Jukes. Is he able to do it? He has heal, pops the heal, pops the E, and the Twitch is going to be able to clean that up. Very nice. Good awareness from the Cassio to look for it. I respect it. But Dopa, you can see how he utilizes, like, without phase rush, it's super hard to play the game as Victor. But with that phase rush, you saw how he used that movement speed to really maneuver around those Cassio skill shots. Dopa has ultimate. I don't think he needs to blow it. He does. Cancels the Nunu ult. Picks himself up. The third kill and the 10 total kill participation of the game. Oh, nice play by Ali. Swain lands E, we kill. Ooh. W? What's the W really deep onto the Kaiser? Good flash through from Kaiser. Dopa picks his first death of the game up. Really well played. I love that Kaiser. And that's an overextension. He was trusting in his support to land a little bit too much. Alistar ult was great. And my boy, Bling Bling One, is that his name? Picks up that kill and he's looking to try and counter carry. He can do it. Kaiser is very strong at the moment. It's doable. Cassio build path seems to be Leandri's Rylai's no tier. No tier. Interesting. I've seen most Le like Cassios, they get the tier and then they just sit on it and then do this build. But top lane Cassio is very meta in China and Korea. I don't see it played often in EU West or NA. I don't know why. Is I'm I'm not sure if it's just like a couple, like four or five Cassio mains in high elo challenger that play it that play it top lane, or is this, I don't know. Or it actually is competitive, not sure. But it's definitely viable. Obviously, into pick like Malphite, it does very well. Malphite, auto attack and AD countering. You run things like Vladimir. You can run things like Victor, Cassio top into it. They all work. Yeah, they need to be very careful of this Nash. Kaiser shreds it with that Kraken. Okay, moving through. Does Dopa take it over? He takes the blast plan over. We're going deep. Need to burst the Nunu. Need to burst the Nunu. Need to burst the Nunu. Nunu gets it. Dopa picks up the kill. And careful of this Cassio because she is dishing out some DPS. 
Needs to be Kaiser focused. Has to be Kaiser focused. Looking for the Lucian. Needs to dodge, needs to dodge, needs to dodge. Grabs the Lucian up. Looking for one more. You see, perfect target focus, guys. I see too many. Oh, he's tilted. Can't get him. It's like, don't focus the tanks or the people that aren't doing damage. Get rid of the damage first and then turn to them. All about having the correct target focus in these type of fights. And they get the... They don't get the Baron. They, he wanted to try and kill the alley to get rid of all the Nashes, but they keep it. And Dopa will have to settle for a blue buff instead. We have our Banshees now. We have our Magi's picked up. We've got a heal coming up for Dopa. Looking to be a pretty solid game from him. I don't really see how... Um, he can really get quarter picked off. He has the Banshees. He has the heal now. A lot of mobility speed. Mobility speed? Am I stupid? Yes, I am. Movement speed. But this is not season three where Victor could stall the game until 200 minutes every game. The Baron buff really helps to get these hard shelves. Great implementation by Riot, I think. Moving in, very confident with that Banshees. Pops the ultimate. Looking to grab the Kaisa. Oh my days, that was close. He doesn't hesitate, just goes straight for it, doesn't he? And I don't think they get anything. That's tragic. Here comes the speed ball. You better grab the alley. Has no has no uh, ultimate. Ice it back to full health. They're getting flanked on by the Lucian. Should W into R. Burst it up. Watch out for the Kaisa. Bling bling looking for a kill. Malphite, no ultimate moving in. Pretty bloody useless without ult. Which opens up. They should grab the Cassio. Dope will die. And the Kaisa will get an ace for sure. Picks up her 12th kill of the game. My god, she's a weapon. Is a bloody weapon, mate. And stack still in the Magi's, thank god. We're looking for a Lich Bane next. Probably into a Void Staff is a good option because of their already building Magic Resist. Especially the new. You shred front to back if you need be. And we got a new season starting in less than a week, guys. I hope you all... If you really want to climb, I want you all to start a climbing document. Microsoft Word, Notepad, have it in your phone, something. Just to hold yourself accountable. This is my champion pool. I'm not going to tilt. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give any free games. By the end of the season, a lot of you guys play 500 games. But 50 of them you could have won just by not tilting. Um, or dodging games. Or just sticking to a more specific champion pool. Those 50 games can make or break your season's goals between like if you wanted to reach gold, plat, diamond, challenge or whatever. They do mean a lot. There's no, there should be no games you give away for free. And we all give away free games. And it's a snowball effect as well. Because we all know what happens on a win streak. You end up winning a lot more. Lost streak, it can turn into some very dark times for us all. As we're all sure aware? Sure aware? Aware surely of? English is my fourth language. I learn Australian as the Nunu picks up the Swain. This game is looking harder and harder as the game progresses into the late game against this Kaisa. I'm terrible. Like, we need Lich Bane Void to one shot the Kaisa, but she has like a billion shield. That's the biggest problem. And she is invisible. Cloud Soul in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Good luck stealing it away from Anunu. Pantheon scaling is horrendous. Malphite is level 12 versus level 15 or 16 Cassio. It's gonna be have to, it's gonna have to be a doper carry. There's no other way about it. As he tries to get the mid lane wave in. Guy's an absolute speedster. See if when he gets the void stuff, it's gonna make like the Nunu's not gonna be able to play a frontline game anymore. Oh, 
I don't utilize that movement speed from the Q. God damn, he's fast. He's dropping a little bit too low on mana here. Jesus Christ. Moving in. We need to look for a Malphite. Oh, that was insane of an engage by the Cassio. Dopa trying to clean it up. Puts his W in. He's a little bit low mana, like I said. And I just don't know if it's quite doable. Oh, they get it. Nice. Oh, what the Kaiser Ali was doing, but if Dopa can get the blue, but oh, guys. Dopa needs the blue if they want to do anything. Yeah, he just doesn't have enough mana. This is so bad. I don't know what he is thinking there. Ask the blowers flash. Greedy. They should have just reset. Like, there was not much you were going to get there. And even if he got the kills, you weren't going to get the Nash. Wait, he has ultimate, guys. And Nunu will die as well. Absolute idiots. And now they want to do Baron, but Dopa needs to reset. Sell Dorans. Does he have enough for Lich Bane if he sells Dorans? He doesn't even sell Dorans for like a Sheen or a Blasting. Just sits on it. Super cool Dopa. I guess he just wants to farm it. Get the outright Lich Bane buy and keep the Dorans for the maximum efficiency. But at the moment he's weaker than he could have been. Before a Nash, which is not what you want, which is a little bit weird. So I feel like it's just Dopa looking for the vision. It's he needs the Swain Pantheon and Malphite in front of him to try and get these vision, um, get this vision out for his team. But he he just ends up frontlining it. The most important thing about this is I is the having the Banshees. Without the Banshees, Dopa couldn't be able to, he wouldn't be able to play the game. I was kind of wondering about the Banshees. I'm like, let's go Lich Bane second. But the Banshees just gives him a little bit of that safety net where he can walk in to get the vision himself. Gets the Lich Bane. Hopefully sells Doran for double pink. Oh, you eedy bugger. Holds the Doran's ring at 28 minutes in the game. Any competitive, like pro lane, pro mid, if when I coach, like if I coach, um, if it's 28 minutes in the game and you have a Doran's, you don't sell off a double pink ward, you're off the team. You're dropped. That's because the pinks is going to provide you so much vision control over the objectives, which are super important in this stage of the game. As they pick up the Nunu, Malphite comes through on the Cassio. Dopa trying to space himself away from the Cassio. And they're going to grab that kill up. They're just looking like a tremendous zone control by Dopa. Poke the Kaiser out a little bit more. Should be a free Baron. Oh, he wanted to rush Baron. Here comes the Kaiser. <laughs> He's so tilted. The pet. Oh my god, the Pantheon. <gasps> oh, they're making for an interesting game. That's why Dopin. He need he needs the Pantheon on him at all times to try and peel this because this the Kaiser's just gonna. She has sixteen kills. She's gonna go. Oh, yeah. She goes in and goes a one for one. Swain. Swain support, very underrated. One of the highest win rate supports at the moment. Leandri's Demonic Embrace Hourglass. This supports can 1v1 the mid laners. It's not fair. Support is too strong. Back in my day, and yes, I know, you know, I'm an old man. I've been playing the game for a while. Back in my day, supports didn't get gold. They could be 15 minutes in the game and have literally no items because they've been buying wards all game. I miss that. Now supports get gifted from Right Games government millions of gold throughout the game for no reason. I've had enough. This is bullshit. Mid lane gets taxed. They literally take money off of my cannons and it's going directly to the supports. And I remember season three? Season two? You'd have like Zara support or some crap. With support item at like 50 minutes, nothing else. As the team fight's coming in, really good ultimate onto the Kaiser. She'll get bopped. 
It's a three for one. They'll head down mid lane here. But that was all about the contest for the mid lane wave for Baron. Cassio looking to move in here. Sure on that W, but we zone the Cassio away. They don't have Nash. They don't. They can't. I don't think they can end the game unless they get a pick. Yeah, this is a really good turn angle. Cassio moving in. Swain hard commits. Doper looking for the one shot onto the Cassio. Boom! Grabs it for himself. Nine kills, three deaths, twenty-one assists. Enemy team has the Cloud Soul. Seems doable. Pass is in 10 seconds. We're just kind of scared of the Nunu. Nunu zooms in from topside somewhere. I think they can zone him though. Oh my. I like Usain Bolt. Pops the ultimate onto the Nunu. Get the Nash low. Bait the Nunu in. Burst him. Now take the Nash. <gasps> Wait a minute. They get it. But at what cost? Dopa gives up on his Pantheon as he should. If you have a teammate like that, just give up on them. Let them die. Sometimes letting them die is the best thing you can do. And they're suffering fast and you get your base and keep the Nash. 2.3 thousand gold in the inventory. Is Dopa going to try and... Cheese out a little bit of vision. I think he just wants to try and stay. I think... Void stuff is 2650 nowadays, I believe, if my math is correct, which it never is. Was I right? Is Void stuff 2500? Is that how cheap it is? It's too cheap. Beautiful magic penetration. And we have full build now. 33 minutes into the game, I think he has enough to one-shot any of their squishy members. And this is why, like, I love playing Victor into AD's mid, because if you survive the early game, you're just one-shot machine. You will just one-shot him at this stage of the game. Very hard for the Lucian to play because his spacing's a little bit low. And you can see here, he has Void stuff now. They'll one-shot the Nunu. You're not a frontliner at all. He... The Nunu wants the, the Alistar to like flash engage follow up, but it's terrible strategy as the Pantheon moves in on the Kai'Sa. Opel, watch his W, watch his ult. They're looking for the... You always got to be aware of the Cassio turn. Dopa. Try and use your Q to get the movement speed. Move in for an E and then move back out. They need to wait for the next wave. They got Nash buff on it, so they should be able to secure it. I want to see Dopa one-shot the Kai'Sa or the Lucian. Or the Cassio? They're moving in. Trying to focus on the Kai'Sa. He one-shots it. Oh, he's looking very low. He drops. Doesn't have to blow his flash. Could have blown his flash, but doesn't. It ends up being a 4 for 2. And they're going to run through an end of the game. I don't see what this Nunu can do, right? Dopa, as always, going to hold his flask for when he gets out of the military. And they're going to end the game. What a review. I love watching Dopa's Victor. It's a very nice, controlled gameplay. But I love watching Dopa overall, guys, just because I learned so much from his games. So until next time, thank you all for watching, and i catch you later. Peace.